dinosaur sound. You're doing really good, Pubbo. Oh no, Pubbo, Pubbo, come back. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a personal robot you can have in your home that comes to us from a company called Whalesbot, and the robot is called Pubbo Air. Now, if that name Whalesbot rings a bell, it's because earlier on on this channel, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know I actually did a review on one of Whalesbot's robots that you build yourself, which was pretty cool as a DIY robot kit. But when I heard that they were coming out with the Pubbo Air, a ready to use robot right out of the box, I was super excited. But. Is it any good? Well. Let's go find out. So here is the box that it comes in and here is everything that's inside. There is a ton of stuff that it comes with. You've got a controller, you've got the screen itself that's going to attach to the base, which is right here. Uh Oh, everything's falling. You've also got the charging cord. It comes with a bunch of really cool stickers. And then you've got the user manual and you've got something called map packs, which I'm sure we'll figure out here in a second. So very quick walk around the base here. Right here is the touch sensor. You've got the right and left wheel. You've got the light sensor. You've got the dot matrix display. You've got your two infrared sensors down here. Then on the back side, you've got the speakers and then you've got a port A and a port B. And then these little balls down here is what makes it so that the robot can roll a lot easier. All right, so for setup, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is put these two things to the side and we're gonna wanna get two AAA batteries for this controller, which sadly it does not come with. Oh, according to the booklet, before we go any further, we need to charge Pubbo up. All right, now we're charged to 100. Once charged up, the very last thing that you're gonna wanna do before we're gonna turn them on is to attach this screen to the base. And voila. So apparently Pubbo moves around a lot. So before turning them on, we're gonna bring them down to the floor. Okay, so I am going to put the microphone on the back of him because he's magnetized and we'll be able to hear him better. And let's turn him on. <laughs> he sounds like a 1930s cartoon character. <laughs> He's super cute though. All right, the first thing that I wanna test out with him is the voice controls. Oh, hey, I should probably pop in here really quick and just mention that the Pubbo Air does not have voice commands like a normal AI robot. It actually doesn't have an AI chatbot built into it, but that is the Pubbo Air. There is another version of Pubbo Air called just Pubbo that is coming out soon that will have an AI chatbot function. But just to clarify, this one does not have that, which is a bummer, but also not a bummer because there's some really cool features that this robot does have, especially its app integration, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's get to the voice commands. So to prompt him, you're gonna say his name twice. Pubbo Pubbo. Oh. <laughs> Cat sound. <laughs> Dog sound. <laughs> Duck sound. Quack, quack, quack. Dinosaur sound. <laughs> okay, why does this sound like, instead of using like regular sound effects, they literally recorded someone doing these voices. It kind of makes it more personal, but it also makes it a lot funnier. Sheep sound. <laughs> Rooster sound. <laughs> totally a person on a microphone. That's amazing. Keep going. Uh oh, it's going off camera. Stop going. Okay, that worked pretty good. Turn around. <laughs> Turn right. Turn left. Keep going. <laughs> Stop going. Oh, okay, he's not gonna. Oh no, Bubbo! Oh no, Bubbo! Come back! Oh, okay, he got a little far away from me and he wouldn't stop. And his mic fell off. There you go. Bubbo, Bubbo. Head down. Head up. Keep turning right. Speed up. Oh, there you go. Slow down. Stop running. There we go. Another cool thing that you can do with Pubbo is he comes with this map, which this is what was in the map pack, and it has an entire track for him to run on, and apparently he'll follow this line. And then you've also got the back where you can make him go to different colors. Let's start with the track. We're gonna put him on the line at the start. Pubbo, Pubbo. Start line follow. <laughs> That's awesome. You're doing really good, Pubbo. All right, let's see if he can do the loop. <laughs> he did the loop. That is super cool. Let's try the other side. Pubbo, Pubbo. Follow the line to the turn. Color reader. Yellow! 
That is awesome. Okay, so he follows along the track really well. Let's try a few more voice commands. Pubbo, pubbo. Let's dance. <laughs> Pubbo's got some sick moves. Be cute. Say hello. Hello. All right, let's try the coding part of Pubbo. Pubbo, Pubbo. Coding mode. Coding mode. So for this, we're gonna have to bring out the controller. So let's turn that on. Bluetooth connected. Let me back up a little bit so you can see both. I can create different arrows of where he's gonna go. So let's go left, right, right again. All right, so it's gonna do a U-turn. It's gonna go back, forward. All right, the coding mode works pretty well. So now that we've checked out the voice commands and the controller, there is one more thing that I did want to show you, which is this thing actually does have an app. So Pubbo has one of the coolest app integrations I've seen. Once a parent creates a profile, there's interactive tutorials for using Pubbo and its controller, so you don't have to use the paper version of the user manual, which makes it way more fun, in my opinion, to learn how to play with them. The thing that really makes this app integration unique, though, is the games it comes with, where you can learn how to code better on your robot, you can take daily lessons, you can compete in daily challenges, and you can earn in-app rewards, all while giving you a bit of his backstory and expanding on his personality. Now, having said that though, is this the right robot for you or your kid? Well, let's talk about it. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, the more I play with this robot, the more I realize that it's definitely made for kids. However, even as an adult, I am having a blast with little Pubbo. Having said that, let's talk about the main question at hand, which is, is he any good? What's good? What's bad? Should you buy him? Let's find out. So as far as things that I like, I love the app design. I obviously love the robot design. I even wasn't really bothered by the control design. I think all of it looked pretty good, especially all for $129.99. That's a pretty good price, which is something else I really like about it. And I also really like how fast it prompts. And just overall, the app integration with the robot, I think is awesome. However, there was one thing that I did not like about Pubbo, which is that I have to say Pubbo Pubbo, for him to react. I would much rather just say his name one time like most robots. So with all of that taken into consideration, would I suggest this robot to you? If you're an adult, maybe not, but if you're a kid, 100%. I would have had a blast with this when I was a kid. And what's awesome, something I mentioned earlier on in the video, Pubbo Air is for kids, but there's also another version called Pubbo that's coming out in a few months, and it has AI conversational abilities. So with all that said and done, it's totally up to you whether or not this is the robot for you. I think it's pretty cool. If you wanna pick it up, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And I wanna give a huge shout out to WalesBot for sending me this little robot to check out and just kind of give my honest opinion on. And I would also love to hear your opinion on Pubbo Air down in the comments below, so please let me know. I will certainly get my hands on the upgraded Pubbo version, which I think is gonna be around $300. Don't quote me on that, which will actually have all of the AI functions. So if you wanna see that video or you like this video or you wanna see any of my other videos, please hit that subscribe button. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World, where tech and adventure meet. I'm gonna throw a video right up here of something that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you're gonna like that I've made in the past. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.